Hello. Hello. Welcome back to Adobe Live. It is day two of 99U. My name is Jasmine. I'm your host, and I am here with Nadine Kolotsi, um, our 2018 Adobe Creative Resident. Hello. How Thank you doing? For in. Yeah. Thanks. How's 99U been for you? Good, but intense. It's so many great people yeah. and huge like lineups. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Who was your favorite so far? Kyle. Of but, course. Like, yeah, Kyle was I amazing. Kyle. I only got to watch him from the little screen, but mm -hmm. that the the boring like laying down for a very yeah. odd amount of seconds and making us feel uncomfortable in a good way was mm -hmm. pretty awesome. It was a good opener too. Like, yeah, to start I right mean, in. Yeah, mm -hmm. it was like one of those things where it kind of just set the mood, but in like a way you didn't expect it. Yeah. So it was refreshing. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. pretty cool. Um, so. Let's talk about your residency. Yeah. And I'm kind of sad because it's over. Yeah. Oh. Ah, Cute. Look. I got a hat. Oh. <laughs> Boris, so awesome. Sweet. Okay. Totally sidetracked, guys. I had a little fangirl moment. Yeah. Let's talk about your residency. And I'm sad that but I'm leaving. It's over. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, it was so intense. It feels like three or four years because like so much <laughs> yeah. happened. So I'm like, okay, is it actually only one year ago? Because yeah. There's a was... saying at Adobe. It's like yeah. Adobe years. Yeah. So yeah. Okay. <laughs> I didn't know year about is that. like an added four years. Yeah. But in a good way. In a good way. Yeah, it was just like kind of like a dream journey. Um, so so many things popped up. Like I haven't expected it to be so intense and challenging yeah. in a very positive way. So yeah, I'm super happy to share with you uh, my journey so far, how things develop from the first initial idea to how we stand now. Yeah. So yeah, we can take a look inside. Yeah, yeah. let's do it. Let's mm -hmm. get started. Do we switch here? Is it switch here? Okay. So guys, I give you like a small introduction. Some of you might already follow my path, maybe, hopefully. Um, so I'm based in Germany, in Berlin and Frankfurt, and I'm an illustrator and visual artist. So my background is a fine arts uni, so not necessarily a um, techy or very designy perspective, but it's when designy. I, it's design, yeah. <laughs> but when I applied, I was quite insecure about uh, maybe I'm too free and not applied enough uh, the for the program. the beauty of art though, I think you're just yeah. supposed to be wild. <laughs> yeah, I'm just super grateful that there is a space for uh, visual artists and like a yeah. company like Adobe to really explore yeah. and be more experimental with their design and visual language. So I kind of can introduce you on how I started in the first place. So here we see um, one of my illustrations, it's like basic editorial actually and maybe you would think, oh it's made with Illustrator, maybe like a, a vector file. Mm -hmm. But actually, I really like a very analog approach on my first way of designing something. So as you can see here, it's actually um, melted plastic, which is a scissor cut. So this is probably the most analog how you can start a sketch. And it's proper scissor cut it. And the foil I'm using is actually um, old uh, school book covers. I don't know if do you have them in the US? Like the like, construction paper where it comes in all the colors. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. I right. remember those. And for day. me, like this is just nice because it's like a memory of childhood in a mm -hmm. way. And also those bold 90s, 80s colors. Yep. So this is also when people ask me, where do your colors come from? It's those books, nice. <laughs> like book covers. I used to tear out all the colors I didn't like. Yeah. And then my mom would be like, you wasted all of that paper. Yeah, but. see? <laughs> right. Like in Germany, it's out of plastic, so I use like a heat press, you can see it here on the picture, um, to fuse them together on one layer. And afterwards it will be um, scanned and maybe um, added, like some drawings will be added in a digital way. So for example, the pencils here are like digitally drawn with a tablet, uh, an illustrator, and I really like the fusion of something very analog and something very digital. Mm -hmm. So this was kind of the idea here. And if you want actually this design, we also got it as a patch. Maybe we can yeah, let's quickly look at that switch. GoPro. We just need one second. Ooh. Yeah, so as you can see it, it's like a patch which has like shiny, uh, how do you say, strings? Uh, fabric? Oh, threads. Threads, <laughs> sorry. Sometimes the word is missing. Yeah, so it's like a nice um, pass from something yes. like plastic over scissor cut into mm -hmm. Illustrator back to a product, like a patch, yes. for example. Do we have a name for this guy? Because it's, he's like your signature, yeah. right? It's kind of like the idea guy, so he's having like he's a got thought. Thoughts. Like he, he's catching one, actually, so this um, star is kind of the idea. He's, he's trying to 
get hold on. Ah. And from the inspiration of the person, it's a bit like Aaron, my residency <laughs> brother. Aww. So he's, he Shout kind of Aaron. modeled for that one. Hey, Anna. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, right, okay. So you get a first impression. So this was how I was working before the residency, mm -hmm. mostly like illustration, combining analog and digital. Yeah. And I really like the arrows. Like you see some overlaps in the designs and this is actually from the foil when it's overlapping. So this kind of thing is kind of hard to um, simulate in a digital way. So right. it's good to take this failure of real life <laughs> into, uh, into the design. Yeah. yeah. Right. Totally. Um, other questions yet? Um, everybody's just in awe of your work right now. Um, it seems like you have you. a lot of people that are very familiar. Oh, really? Oh, Aaron said, oh. twin. Oh, so sweet. <laughs> Hi, Aaron. Thank you. Thanks uh, for tuning in. You yes. know you're the model. Just so you guys know, halfway through, we're going to do another chat one, and it's mm. going to be a really special one. We're going to yeah. have a tattoo kit by Tatley, but also Nadine has some fun swag that she's going to add to it so make yeah. sure you guys stick around for that it's worth it it's it's for sure worth it yeah. you can get i'm not even going to tell you i don't want to tell yeah. you because i want you to stay <laughs> so but you won't regret it won't regret it so yeah if we switch now to my residency program or project mm -hmm. so i was doing this kind of illustration i was showing before and for the residency mm -hmm. i really wanted to do something bigger and include the community but also push the boundaries of what we know as drawing or illustration right. So I came up with this project called the Undrawn Drawing Tour, which sounds like a tongue breaker, but actually <laughs> it's meant to kind of question illustration as only image based. So how would it be if an illustration could be an experience, if I can walk in it or if I can bring my friends inside of a drawing or if it's, it's an, an experience, yeah, right? If, if it's an experience. Yeah. And I think also this is kind of the future of marketing because we're used to take a look at so many great artists and pictures. So over Instagram, for example, we see maybe 100 great artworks a day. Yeah. So it's kind of, it's becoming kind of dull because we know it all, even though it's great work. So what we like is kind of like the experience of something special, yeah, I absolutely. guess. Absolutely, yeah. It, makes, yeah. it just makes it feel more personable. Right. And when you can like, Feel it, touch it, see it. It's yeah. like all of your senses are mm -hmm. kind of working together and it's not just a sight-based thing. I think that's what really, truly brings you to a brand or an artist yeah. or a person. So It's touching people. Also, yeah. if you yeah. can share it with friends, if like I can take you in my display, for example, yeah. and be like, here, we're part of, um, like, a, how you say, artwork surrounding in a way, yeah. if that's okay from the English. It also feels like I'm a part of your world, like you know what I right. mean, like in your thoughts and yeah. how you perceive art, you're like taking me in and putting me in that experience mm -hmm. too, so yeah. yeah. Yeah, so this was kind of like my first thought to combine experience, connecting people, mm -hmm. but also to discover this new dimension, so what else can there be in image making rather than only focus on a flat 2D layer. Right. And yeah, so with this approach, I started in the year and maybe the first bigger thing I did was this one. Some of you might have seen it if you've been to Max in Los Angeles. Yes. You've been, right? Yes, I yep. was there last year and mm. I saw it across the community floor and yeah. I like ran it over big. to it. <laughs> I was actually looking for you and I didn't Thank see you. you. <laughs> and then yeah. I went in and it was awesome. So. I was maybe <laughs> hidden in the shapes or something. <laughs> Probably. Yeah, so this was actually... Um, really big step for me because I was doing those experimental things in my studio and I was comfortable with it and then um, Julia from the residency asked me if I would do like the pavilion for the Cred presidency yeah. on Adobe Max which is like the biggest fair for Adobe Creative <laughs> Conference. Creative conference slash yeah. music festival. Yeah, it's massive. <laughs> like it's massive. Yeah. So this was your first installation? Like my first like in a commercial setup wow. and like in that size and the first one in the US as well. So I had no idea. I thought this was like you've but done this a couple times. No, like, like I did hand cut it once before, yeah. but this was the first one working with a production wow. from Germany, like an intercontinental mm -hmm. project, which was like a huge um, responsibility in a way because mm -hmm. it's, it should represent all the residents, not only me. So I had this feeling of I really want to make it something special so people are invited to share this fun which we all got during the residency. So yeah. so yeah, this was basically the first trial and of course you had some difficulties like communicating intercontinentally how the shapes were cut and printed and yeah. stuff like that. Speaking of that, someone had a question about that. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Kita wants, hi Kita. Hey. Kita wants to know, um, so short strokes or long strokes 
it's always an argument in my neck of the woods. So how do you cut? Um, how do you mean, like cut? So how do you cut, like versus the short strokes and the long strokes? Like, what are the best techniques for cutting? Because it's it's oh. like challenging. Oh, right, right, right. I can't cut in a straight line, so <laughs> like I could only imagine cutting yeah. with shapes. <laughs> I mean, I do long strokes because I really like it to be like a drawing, like a line. So mm -hmm. it's kind of like a. Uh, shape-based line I'm doing okay. so I really go in one flow mm -hmm. and I rather have like multiple times trying one shape uh, okay. rather than adjusting it because I think this first flow is very intuitive and has mm -hmm. some purity to it mm -hmm. and I really like that and if I overdo it too much in like tiny steps it gets a bit constructed yeah. rather than are yeah, you, more sensual. Are maybe. you using some type of amazing special scissors? That, no. No? Just the, regular scissors? Yeah. Sometimes the more basic, the more potential it has. It doesn't have to be something too fancy. Like I could also order, for example, plastic foils, mm -hmm. like special ones. But I think it's very nice to have something very basic, which I can buy in each convenience store, like those school book covers. Yeah. In Germany, we have it in, in every stationery shop. It's very inclusive, yeah. the way you yeah. conduct your work. It doesn't have to be that. fancy. Yeah. I think if there's a huge value and beauty in regular regular life objects. So, yeah, I love yeah. that. I think more people need to know that mm -hmm. so they can feel challenged to do stuff like yeah. this. Yeah, so yeah, back to Max. Um, the idea of the booth was actually, you can also wear socks which blend in. I think I got you oh, some. <laughs> yeah, it's yes. really it's really cute. So uh, the idea was that the visitors really become part of it. So mm -hmm. we had like huge hands for massive high fives <laughs> or a big group hugs. High five. Yeah, a styro wig. So this is actually a wig, like the oh, girls holding, what? so you can wear the styrofoam hair. I wish I knew about those. Yeah, and it's kind of a selfie park. So the idea was that people um, like have a special memory and they can share it with friends and experience mm -hmm. it. And also they become part of the illustration. So you, you're not only walking in it, but you can like make it part of your body yeah. in a way. Yeah. It's, you're really interacting with it. Like. Right, and it's like a totally different approach to uh, seeing a picture. So if I see a picture, I'm quite passive, like someone else did that, I can appreciate it, but it's not like close to me as a person. And I think this is what we tried with the booth. So in general, I wanted to focus on installation as something happening in the real world mm -hmm. and augmented reality as some digital magic, which is like a, another atmosphere maybe or dimension. So those are the two fields I wanted to follow up exploring like new directions of how can we interact with images or illustration in general. Okay. Yeah. And so where did that merge stem from? Like obviously it's it's connecting these two dimensional worlds, yeah. but when you were thinking about like how am I going to execute mm -hmm. this um, in a full view of experience, yeah. what were the things that kind of pointed you towards this direction mm -hmm. and kind of like really set the standard for your residency? Yeah. Yeah, I mean if you do sculptures or installations, it's always like a huge amount of costs, of facilities, logistics. Yeah. Yeah. So it's not so easy to do, especially planning Max. I was like, oh, I wish I can walk in it as a simulation right now. So I did mm -hmm. some 3D models, but it's different if you have it on your screen, if you can really walk in it. So yeah. AR felt like the natural missing link to have a simulation or a digital, mm -hmm. very economical yeah. uh, version yeah. of an installation. So I can already walk in it and try certain things as a physical presence with mm -hmm. my shapes. Um, yeah, so I think this is kind of like the uh, virtual twin to an actual installation mm -hmm. because it's walkable and experienceable on a body-mind level and like kind of differently than a model which I can turn around on my screen, I can take a look, yeah, but I'm but not really can't, involved. Like, jump in the screen. Yeah, you can't <laughs> jump in. So I was like, I really want to walk in my drawings. <laughs> right. Really yeah. just want to like put one foot into the screen. Yeah, and just... right. <laughs> I mean, we almost we're almost there, so we can show I, you later. I know it's kind of scary. It's a little. I think scary. it's cool. <laughs> it's cool, but it's also like yeah. people are gonna start disappearing into screens now. Maybe. Like in movies, but. I mean, there's a new magic coming up for all of us, so I yeah. guess it might be nice. <laughs> um, yeah, and actually for um, the booth and Max, the idea was that you can also add digital shapes to it. Oh, cool! So the visitor could not only watch and be part of it, but mm -hmm. he can also or she or they could also like expand the digitally, like exactly yeah. the same shapes within the display are um, on Aero. This is like the new augmented reality uh, program from Adobe and I am a beta tester for it. So it was really great to be involved in this. As a mm -hmm. resident, I was like, wow, I can talk to the developers, right? So this was 
huge uh, need your expertise. Yeah, this was amazing for me as mm. someone who's not a coder to be able to work with AR in such a nice surrounding. Yeah, so cute. Yeah, <laughs> me looking like a candy. <laughs> so I'm just there in the picture for a size reference. <laughs> no, it's fine. Like, yeah, your outfit though with <laughs> everything. Is I just... blend in. <laughs> So cute. Yeah, the idea here was like it was a show in LA in Hollywood mm -hmm. to um, actually bring it to the next level because the floor you can see here is hand scissor cut. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like where I was coming from. And it was like a digital um, drawing as yeah. backdrop and then digital files as produced shapes as like the, uh, how you say, nature, artificial yeah. nature. That's the really cool part because when I originally saw this. Um, mm -hmm installation in LA, I thought that it was painted on the floor. No. And it's so, so how did you get the cut to like just lay down so? It was just like, massive. Like. It was just, <laughs> it's like you laminated the floor, like it just yeah. looks so clean. Yeah, like we cleaned it a lot and I help, had help from the uh, setup team there, mm -hmm. but it was kind of like a foil carpet and then oh. I'm going with cutters and scissors like in huge waves, kind of like doing a mural but yeah. on the floor. How do you protect it? Is there like a gloss over no, it? No, it's, it's actually floor stickers. So the material oh. is meant to be for floor stickering. Mm. So they're like easily to wash off. It's kind of like, uh, I don't know if it's PVC or something. So it's okay. like, okay. it's very glossy and you can easily wash it off. So it looks yeah. very crisp and clean. It's crazy, yeah. I thought that was paint. It's no, so it's cool. not. So cool. <laughs> and actually you could also sit on the, uh, on the display. So mm -hmm. there are some people interacting with it. We had a bit like, I say more dense styrofoam for mm -hmm. those ones. Mm -hmm. So people could really like sit on it, use it as furniture and it was more interactive. Yeah. Um, also there was uh, another augmented reality position you can explore, kind of like a treasure hunt. So yes. those stickers have been spread throughout the exhibition and people could go with their phones and activate um, like an augmented reality mm -hmm. experience with those. Nice. Hi Steven. Hi Pokey. Hey. Hey Tim, always on it. Oh, he's, sweet. He's going to find the, the link to the VR version of the booth and oh. share it. Thank you. There is a link. I can provide you with that later if you yeah. want, so you can have like a back to Max experience. Oh, there it is. Perfect. Oh my god, he's so good. He's yeah, so thank you. <laughs> Perfect. So, how many? So, there are four different stickers yeah. and with four different experiences, right? Yeah. So. Here are some previews of how that looks. Like uh, later on, I also have some videos, so you get like a better idea probably. So, yeah, we dive directly into augmented reality because I think all of you guys are quite excited or scared yeah. <laughs> about it. I mean, I'm happy scared. Is that a thing? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> like augmented reality is coming for you. Like yeah. that could be interpreted in a lot of ways. Yeah, that, that's why I put it like that because it's scary. It's like new. Nobody knows what yeah. it can do or could do and how to mm -hmm. approach it. It's so. the unknown, right? The that's unknown. why it's like, yeah. Ooh, it's, it's also coming for you as something to be excited about. Yes. So I think it's like, maybe the future. So right now we're in a position, it reminds me on maybe beginning of the internet where everyone knows mm. it's going to be big, but I don't know where to see it, how to get in contact, who's the provider, mm -hmm. how can I engage as a creative person. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like uh, not claimed terrain, like the Wild West maybe. Yeah. <laughs> and I think this has also potential because there isn't like a major player on the field yet. So you right. can really approach right. it and claim your own um, territory cool. on this one. Before we get to the next part, um, oh sorry, yeah, question. Yeah. So how did we? I guess people want to know how how, how did you create the 3D shapes? Uh -huh. So maybe we walk them through a little bit of that process, yes. and then we'll talk get more deep into the augmented stuff. Mm -hmm. So um, like I did two parts of 3D shapes. Okay. The virtual ones, they are like painted with a tablet and Illustrator, transferred to Photoshop, uh, extruded with the 3D extrusion tool, um, saved as OBGs and then put an arrow, project arrow. This is like um, syncing with the cloud, creative cloud, so I can directly upload it. This would be like the digital component, the okay. AR component. And for the physical objects, it's the very same file. So it's, mm -hmm. I thought it's a nice idea to have like so same one illustrator. Yeah, it's okay. like one core AI file and it's like growing in two dimensions. In the augmented reality world, it's like the same shapes. Mm -hmm. And then we have them as sculptures in, your, in our here and now reality. Okay. Yeah, and those are actually um, hotwire cutted from an EPS file or mm -hmm. AI file. So it's like directly the curves translated as a melt cutting. Like, 
you say, hot wire cutting mm -hmm. in the styrofoam. So it's actually a digital sculpture. Yeah. yeah, so they take the file and then they, it's kind of like a 3D printer almost, but different. And then they it's cut. It's not printed, it's or like not a hot printed, wire. Hot wired, <laughs> yeah. and then it's cut into the shape of right. the file. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. And I saw this is quite a nice relation because I was cutting plastic with a scissor mm -hmm. and now I'm cl uh, cutting like three-dimensional plastic with a hot wire mm -hmm. and it's also with the scissor cut before it was cut and then melted and now oh. the styrofoam parts are like melt cutted because it's a hot wire which is melting out the sculptures basically mm -hmm. so it's mm -hmm. cutting them with a melting process so it's kind of related to the scissor cutting yeah it's like the transfer of that actually yeah Stefan likes your, your blue outfit. Thank you. <laughs> I was so nervous what to wear. Thank you, guys. I feel Sweet. like you're always like matching with the aesthetic of your work. Yeah, that's it, true. It's like great. But it's maybe like people with their dogs, right? You always see some resemblance. It's yeah. like, OK. I know. It's, sometimes it's, you shouldn't point it out. But yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it can be quite similar. <laughs> yeah, OK, right. So we dive into augmented reality. Um, yeah. We got some preview before, but um, I was working on two fields during the residency mm -hmm. and also I haven't been doing that before. So my aim for the residency was to explore and learn it from scratch as a non-programmer. So I'm coming cool. from the visual arts field, right? So yeah. I was like, okay, I would love to engage, but I have no idea how to do that. It's a whole nother land. Right, and yeah. I think the residency is just like this super great opportunity where um, you can really explore and research on topics because usually you have bills to pay, right? right. You have a life, you have no Things time. to worry about. And so yeah. the residency gave you that time to really mm -hmm. kind of focus on the things you wanted to learn yeah. and the skills. That's awesome. But also the tech support, like mm -hmm. to be able to really talk to the people who are like the creators of this program, which yeah. is kind of like far away if you use it on your computer but then you meet the people and they're like yeah. human beings who are it have that. like a real impact when yeah. you talk to them. So yeah. this was an amazing experience. I'm super grateful for that because I don't know if without the residency I could have explored in that direction. Mm -hmm. So this really opened up like a new sector to my work. Mm -hmm. So this was And did really you know nice. you wanted to do this before the residency or did it kind of just kind of. come about? Mm -hmm. Okay. So I didn't pitch it in my project. I just said I want to explore on the borders and mm -hmm. AR would be great, but I have no idea. Yeah. <laughs> so I mentioned it like that, but I think I wasn't really convinced myself that I really could interact with it. So mm -hmm. I was a bit like, this would be cool, like in the far distance of what might be possible, wow. but then uh, it well, really became reality. Our distance ended up being very quickly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You are like mastering it. Totally, it's impressive. Yeah, and I was um, like doing AR in two different ways. So like yeah. it's kind of like two species of AR. So uh, one is a non Adobe software, um, and I was developing that with a friend of mine, Alessandro. He's based in Kyoto, mm -hmm. and we know each other over Airbnb really randomly six years ago. <laughs> We met and um, yeah, he helped me with the programming. So I'm not a coder myself, I work with mm -hmm. him. And we developed that app, um, you can see here. It's like an image-based augmented reality. Uh, it should be playing, oh, wait. For the big physical oh, um, foam you cuts, you did those yourself also, right? Yeah. Okay. yeah, yeah. They were also like, but also with a cutter. Usually I work with a scissor, but on the big scale on the floor, mm -hmm. it had to be a cutter because you can't like Oh my God, do you a smooth have curve. so much patience. Yeah, no, I love my work, so I was like oh, diving right in. I love it. Yeah, and here you can actually see some examples of um, the app we built ourselves. So this is kind of an artist app. It's mm. called like me, so Nadine Kolotzi. You see also my handles on the corner, so feel free to follow me or download the app so you can experience it um, at yes. home. download the app, it's super cool. Yeah, and here you can see well like designed. how it's really extruded, like a pie mm -hmm. or like a deep dimension. You can look I inside. Like, I like how the like bushes yeah. look like It's kind of underwater hands. a yeah. little bit. Oh yeah, like yeah. Kind of like... And those guys are fighting actually. <laughs> yeah, so... Yeah, that's why it's a share. <laughs> right, right. It's like share, explore the new. So it was kind of like the message of the Andron drawing tour that um, mm. you can look further than only at the picture. So what else is there to see? Yeah. And I think augmented reality, especially in this one, it has this Harry Potter magic of moving images, which are showing you an, uh, another world, which is kind of hidden. 
It yeah. does look like Harry Potter because yeah. it looks like when he comes out <laughs> of the brick wall. Yeah, like this one in, in particular, oh, it was a project um, in Japan mm -hmm. and I was asked to do like a mural with um, AR interaction. Mm -hmm. And for me, this was quite crazy because I bought like paint buckets in the like uh, how you say hardware store, mm -hmm. and we went to that wall and we started painting. And we had like with the beamer, we had like a preview of how that looked. Is it a tunnel? Uh, it's a tunnel. Okay. It's like a commuter's tunnel at the main station uh, of oh. Matsudo, which is um, at, in the prefecture of Chiba, but it's like super close to Tokyo. Okay. And people who go with the trains are going because it's like next to the main station. Oh, okay. And you paint like with liquid paint on the wall, and then afterwards there is an AR function to it. Uh, actually, I have another slide where you can see more of this project. So this is like the community which invited me to do that. Mm -hmm. And it's quite nice because there is like a small sign with the QR code and the app is free. Mm -hmm. And people like passing back and download it and, and explore their commuter path to work and make it more colorful. Also learn something about the city. So yeah, yeah the concept here was to combine something very simple like a mural with big technology. And it's telling old stories of the city, mm -hmm. a new techniques so this is kind of like and you're giving people a better experience during mm. their commute like normally that's like the time of the day where you don't want to talk to anyone no. you're like, like oh. heads down headphones mm. on so like to have that be a part of like you jump starting your day mm. is really cool and like makes you more excited about what's going to happen yeah so yeah i didn't even think about that that's mm -hmm. awesome thank you, can you. Come do that in san francisco so would be great be so more happy when yeah. we walk to work. If, if you got walls at home yes. <laughs> let me know we got plenty we yeah got plenty of walls yeah and the nice thing with this one is also people write me like on my instagram they're like oh uh, i really enjoy your tunnel every day going oh, to work and i'm so like sweet. this is so that. rewarding it's yeah. not like a post on my blog or something mm -hmm. it's really something uh, which becomes a memory of everyday life experience yeah. for the people. So this is, yeah, it was a very, very nice yes. project. All right, comment if you want her to come to yeah. a wall in your city. Yeah, please do that. I'm happy, like, just after the residency, I got some time. Just so. do walls across the world. That's, That's the this next This would be one. amazing. That would be cool. Actually. Yeah. yeah, so I, I would be happily to do more like in public spaces because it's closer yeah. to the people. I don't like the idea of art being something exclusive in a gallery. Yeah. So I think it's nicer if people can really approach it. Definitely. Yeah. And like the other path uh, I took with augmented reality is a Adobe owned software called Project Aero, like the air, not like the shooting thingy. Like <laughs> my, 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 my English sometimes, you can think it's arrow like arrow, but it's Aero. I hope that was clear. It's you can okay, read it here. Right. Um, <laughs> oh, sorry. So with Project Arrow, it's kind of like a different species of AR because you can place objects in the sphere. So you don't need an image-based trigger or you don't have like a, yeah, an object which is interacting. You mm -hmm. rather put your shapes directly as digital files out there. So I can show you how this looks. Here are some videos. And during the residency, we've been traveling a lot. So yeah. I was doing this uh, series of lost shapes um, and just like putting them in random um, yeah. surrounding like Joshua Tree Park. I was going to say that yeah. looks close to my house. Yeah, this is Joshua Tree Park. Nice. NLA, like um, down from Intercontinental Hotel. And Very as you cool. see, this is massive. This is like <laughs> house size. And to do a sculpture in this scale, yes. yeah. it's like not possible or maybe if you are an artist and lucky, you can do something smaller. Mm -hmm. But with augmented reality, I can just like, on my way to work, I can just drop massive sculptures on a like huge city, space, square, yeah. whatever, or like uh, of a crossing. Um, so this is actually quite interesting. Or in your backyard, like there is this backyard which looks a bit boring, so I decorated it with some, <laughs> with some shades. And this really feels like magic because you have this possibility all of a sudden to make this huge um, digital sculptures mm -hmm. with like a few clicks. So this was really um, amazing experience for me. And I was invited by Invisible oh. Conference. Oh, oh what is what's that? happening? I think it's chat win time. <gasps> uh oh, you guys start chatting. We have really cool prizes today. Mm -hmm. So you know the drill, just uh -oh. start talking. Sending emojis, that's all you gotta do. And the chat and win is gonna start right now. And it's great. This one. Hello! I think we have a winner. Oh, uh -oh. really? It's coming. Uh-oh. 
It's tacos. Hurry, 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 hurry. Tacos. Yeah. Tacos, tattoos, and burritos. Yeah. <laughs> uh, keep going. Give it guys. all. Got it. You yeah, got yeah, yeah. it. You got it. Got it, got it, got it. Uh, 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 uh. I think the winter's okay. coming. I can feel it. This is I good. Like, a lot it. of people are involved here. I know. Pokey Han! Congratulations, <laughs> Pokey! Oh, we got a winner? Yeah! yeah. Congratulations! Oh, I didn't know! Hey, congrats! So, this is a special chat win yeah. because not only do you win a Tatly tattoo kit that you're going to share with us so we can all have matching tattoos, but what else did they win? We have an amazing patch. Maybe we can quickly Ooh, show it. What the? I mean, you've seen it a little bit before. Ooh. So this is like proper produce. It's iron on and you can just like melt it to your garments so yes. this is one of the prices so you have like a cool new tattoo and also a motorcycle jacket with right this patch on it. and we have a special <laughs> price actually let oh, me see one more we thing. have to check if it's working because it might be sketchy we got this sticker maybe you can see it like that and maybe we can try i think you have to be a bit further away oh it's actually the three-dimensional sculpture yeah. so this is like a ar sticker so cool and um it's like a 3d sculpture so if you turn the sticker you can see that the sculpture oh is gosh. coming out from it a cool thinking man yeah everyone's yep. gonna be so envious of your can sticker you game yep Ooh. so here it's popping out you see that oh my gosh i need to and put one of these on my lap yeah so he's coming so cool. out of the sticker as a sculpture so this is the package and that's what you win, Pokey. So awesome. I'm jealous. I really am jealous. Mm -hmm. So you can really impress people. Maybe it's good mm -hmm. for dating too. You can be like, hey, have you seen this one? Have you seen this? <laughs> I'm cool. <laughs> yeah. It's quite nerdy though. I know. But, but it's magic too. It's like cool too. in a nerdy way. Yeah, right? totally. Okay, congrats again. I hope you like it. Um, yeah, and back to augmented reality. Yeah. So, um, some more stuff. Yeah, we've been talking about Arrow before, like Project Arrow, the new augmented reality app. And I was invited by Invisible Conference in San Francisco uh, to do an installation which is completely digital. So there is nothing in the room but AR magic. And it was um, inside of a conference field. And here you can see some screenshots of it. So you could add like huge sculptures in the same style like the ones from LA mm. um, and you can just drop them everywhere at the conference and people really like to play with that because you could like decorate your surroundings yeah. you can take pictures with it but also it's like a not existent invisible nature which is growing around you so mm -hmm. maybe you're standing next to a palm tree and you didn't realize and it's like a <laughs> massive pink wow. palm Indoors. tree probably <laughs> yeah so this was really nice and fitting for the conference theme and also I saw it's a good concept of having some like an exhibition which is only happening in a different dimension. Yeah. So yeah, this was for me the first only AR experience. Yeah, and here That's you can cool. see some testings uh, of the sculptures where I was like seeing how to walk around them. Right. It's cool because like everyone's in the same room but they're seeing different things. Yeah. So it feels like you're the only one in that room. Right, so, right. It's cool. But also it's like um, sometimes people don't notice and then you can make fun of that. So some people have been like <laughs> hugging like trees and yeah. Drop a bush on somebody's yeah, head and they it was really know. funny. <laughs> and I think AR in general has like a huge future. Mm -hmm. So I was for example doing this test on my table at home. Mm -hmm. And as you see it's like a small jungle or something. Yeah. But how about if I have to do an animation and I have like a short deadline. I don't know. They say like can you do it tomorrow? We need like a jungle animation. And then maybe you can do like a set design, SAR set mm -hmm. design on a table, maybe with a back, uh, backdrop which is black or yeah. showing some um, nature. Yeah. And then you have like a first person animation perspective if you film it through your phone like that. So I could actually do animations using AR as a backdrop. Very so there are cool. like huge new fields we don't really think about yet because it's such a new format, mm -hmm. which is also not published yet. So Arrow is... Um, a beta version still, it's a baby. And a we, baby. Don't, we don't know yet 
if it will be a boy or girl or <laughs> no like it's not um, ready for, to be published yet yes. but it's having a huge potential already yes. and I think it's very exciting yeah like keep your eyes open once it's launched it will be like a wave I can predict yeah. it so Juan yeah. wants to know um, so what kind of platforms and tools do you use to develop all of this right yeah, for um, outside of Arrow I guess outside yeah. of Arrow yeah so um, outside of Arrow we use Unity and Vuforia um, for the coding and before it's animated with After Effects mm -hmm. and Cinema 4D for the 3D um, 3D moments and this is quite labor intense and also like it's always referring to the picture which is animated mm -hmm. so this is quite specific but because it's so specific it's working so well yeah because it's not very universal it's very like it's a specific build-in program asset for a particular picture yes. yeah yeah, so this is how you do it. But I'm glad I, that, that I can work with a programmer because if you have to do the coding and the animation and the oh. illustration wow. and to build the app, it's it's a journey, Ten jobs. definitely. <laughs> yeah, Ten totally. Jobs. Yeah, and also, yeah, maybe I can show you, actually I did like one commissioned work, um, which is nice because the residency is more about exploring and mm -hmm. doing your personal project. But then the um, marketing team from uh, Germany, Adobe Germany, reached out to me if I can do an animation for the CC special subscription promo campaign. It oh, runs cool. only in Germany, so I, I guess you haven't seen it. No. Um, and maybe we take a look at it? Yeah, let's, Shall do, we? It, let's do it. Okay. So we it need, it has some sound phone? too. Oh, no, um, we have it on here, huh? Maybe we can add some sound to that. We didn't mention it before, but... Yeah, yeah. if we have a minute, if that's possible. Okay, I can also play this sound if it's yeah, fine. Yeah, play it through here. <clears throat> yeah. Um, let me switch out of that. Mm-hmm. All right. Hang in there, guys. We got it. It's going to be exciting. It's yeah. worth all of the wait. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Alberto, so. it's like teamwork. Of course. That's all we do here at yeah. This is the magic behind the scenes, yes. actually. <laughs> teamwork makes the dream work. All right. <laughs> yeah. And then turn the volume on. Like literally, though. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. All right. Cool. Okay. We're all ready. OK. Are we on? We're going in three, two, one. There we go. I might go back just here so we can take that a look was really at it. That really cool. I'm yeah, so we don't have that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was only in Germany, so not many people have seen it here. Yeah. But for me, this was kind of nice because it was a commercial job from Adobe, mm -hmm. but also kind of illustrating my year. So it's about building this um, illustrative world uh, where you can interact. So this is actually the Creative Cloud logo, which is lying down mm -hmm. as a garden, so you can take a look inside of it. Inside. And all of those people are the creators, like maybe you guys, uh, maybe us, yeah. who are using the tools like as magic tools in a mm -hmm. way, and they can plant trees. Like one is, for example, the tool from InDesign, like the placement yeah. tool. Paint uh, bucket. Tool. Right. The lasso. Lasso. One of my faves. And the curves. I don't know the English terms for those, but the curves handles. The, the, uh, the, uh, <laughs> maybe was, you guys know. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so the idea was to illustrate um, like this process of creation. Mm -hmm. And also for this one, maybe we can show it on your phone actually. Yeah, okay. If you, you can just open, like, open it. Yeah, because for this one, we also tried. Oh. Oh, okay. More behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. Are you going to do this? Ooh, wow. Oh wait, yeah, nope, have... it's a Google phone. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's fine, we can do it Android. like that. We do it over the uh, GoPro. So as you see, it's live um, mixing Wave your here. hands if you're an Android fan. You have to face this way, actually. <laughs> oh yeah. Huh? So the okay, idea was, um, I can explain it first. So the idea was to... Hold on, let me wait, adjust yeah. I do this one. our GoPro. To add a new layer to that one. So this is what you've been just seeing, right? Okay. And now we program that if you face it, maybe you can see it. Uh, it's actually augmented reality, yes. so you can proper dive in, mm -hmm. see the figures. Hang out and with this, our friends. Yeah, and this is like coming directly from my screen. So maybe i show you again. So here we got the picture and Ooh. boom, this is the AR. 
and you can like yeah, yeah. see all the people kind of walk through so cool yeah and this is kind of what i mean if you don't stop at one image or one mm -hmm. animation you can like add totally new layers to it and make it a different dimension of experience for yeah. everyone it's like those yeah. old school uh, pop-up books mm -hmm. but now we're yeah. so innovative it's pop-up screen right right so this is kind of where we are now like or mm -hmm. how my residency year um ended maybe like this was mm -hmm. the last project in a way and i think I'm quite surprised how much happened because it was like, I don't know, I had not big expectations. I thought, mm -hmm. oh, it's a nice opportunity. It's great to work with Adobe. Let's mm -hmm. see how things go. And a lot happened. So yeah. I'm super grateful. And I would love to thank again Julia, Franzi, Heidi, like everyone who supported it and made this possible. So thank you guys. Shout out Adobe Creative Residency. Yeah. I will cry with one eye or two eyes maybe. Air horn. Mm. Pew, pew, pew. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah, so this is where we stand right now. So here's some more animation. Yeah. Well, yeah, it will be kind of weird to um, to switch now after the residency because it was such a high pitch yeah. um, production, like one project after another. And you've been, I don't know, working constantly and yeah. with a, like also watching your residency family grow mm -hmm. because we're like, we've been seven. This year it's nine. It was nice to yeah, see them like expanding develop. Expanding and expanding and expanding. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What would you say, I know there's a lot of people out there that are interested in the residency mm -hmm. program yep. and want to understand like, what's the association with Adobe? Like, how are you able to do all these mm -hmm. things? So what kind of advice can you give them? Yeah, so first of all, you're not selling out on Adobe because most people have been like, oh, so they own everything you create and it's definitely not the case. So mm -hmm. you are owner of everything you produce. It's more like they give you freedom and framework on different levels. So you get a fixed salary, mm -hmm. which is kind of a relief. So you don't have to do like money drops like you have yeah. a a proper like yeah insurance to focus on your um, exploration mm -hmm. you get technical support you get creative cloud um, access for free um, working with the developing teams also opportunities like invisible yeah. conference so there's have been people who saw me on a um, talking on an Adobe conference and then they invited me to do like this AR garden at their show like at the invisible con mm -hmm. so it's kind of like you get introduced on a very nice and um, how you say um, kind way to a broader community mm -hmm. and, and this is kind of like a high level for someone who's maybe working freelance by themselves and all of a sudden you have this stage where your work is seen and people will maybe reach out to you so yeah, yeah that's awesome. beneficial on a lot of paths and also great people like I met so many friends so I'm quite that's sad awesome. that I can't see them so often now but yeah Thank it's you. really worth it so if you guys have questions, yeah. let us know in the chat. We have a few more minutes. Mm -hmm. And while we're waiting for those, what was your favorite project in your residency? Mm, maybe, I think the one in LA was really great. I might quickly jump to that so you can get an idea which one it was. Just in case you're just joining. Yeah, so it was this one because it was just so well executed and so last minute at the same time. Oh, wow. And also for me, as not being like I wasn't um, in LA, so I had to organize it from Berlin, mm -hmm. uh, which is kind of a stretch to do because you have time difference, different scaling systems. Yeah. And also I was like searching for a provider um, to cut the shapes. And I found this company and they do actually props for explosion scenes in movies. Oh, that's so, so, so it was okay. very particular <laughs> for Hollywood that I could find them because nowhere else you have companies providing this kind yeah. of service, right? Yeah. And they it's just launched their office like one week before. And it's like, how did you find us? I was like, I was calling everyone <laughs> because this is also something I had to learn, like to reach out to people yeah. and to find my producers. So this resources. is something, yeah, you have to do by yourself. Oh, and that's perfect timing, though. They just opened and then you yeah, just yeah, this that's was crazy. and they're like, I was like, it was I think four days before the opening. Mm -hmm. and I was like, it's only four days. And they're like, we do stuff like in half an afternoon. I was like, oh my god, <laughs> you saved my life because <laughs> usually this takes ages, and it was such such an intense short time. And production mm -hmm. and it worked out super well in the end so yeah I guess this one. Um, the people want to know how did you know what type of project to select for your residency or what you wanted to focus on? Um, so I actually heard of the residency program two days before the deadline <laughs> <laughs> so there was not it's much time. Late, guys. Yeah. <laughs> 
I didn't know about it, but also in Germany it's in the second year when I started, so it was quite new. In the mm -hmm. US it's going for some years, so it has some history, but in Germany it's quite new, so I didn't know about it. Yeah. And then I was just like, okay, what I really would do if I don't have to pay my bills and everything, I was thinking like, what would be my goal if I am not restricted by anything? Right. And this was kind of to explore on the borders of illustration and drawing. So this is then what I pitched. But it was quite open. I didn't say I want to do AR, I want to do so. Mm -hmm. It was more like this is my approach. And that's yeah. cool that you didn't have to be 100% on yeah. like this is what I'm going to work on and this is what I'm yeah. going to stick to. There's like mm -hmm. room for growth and room for exploration totally. and yeah. your craft and what you want to accomplish. Mm -hmm. So I think that's like the really cool thing about yeah. seeing you from like point A to now. It's like, whoa, you yeah. accomplished so much. Sometimes I'm like, okay, this is really, someone really <laughs> made this possible that I could have this show. Like sometimes I'm like, okay, <laughs> this awesome. happened. Yeah, no, it was really nice. Someone's wondering if you've tried Alrupa application. I'm not sure what that is. No, I haven't tried it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Unfortunately not. Absolutely. I was only focusing on those two AR mm -hmm. programs, but um, it, like maybe we should mention that right now a lot of big companies are investing in this technology mm -hmm. so there are like plenty of um, options popping up right now like I think every week or month there are new possibilities which are launched because everyone is kind of like testing their ground and being like okay what can we do how can we have like our position in this field so there is a lot happening right now so right. it's worth it also now to test the different options because it's not like there's not one big player yet so you can really dive in actually okay yeah um it's a lot of <laughs> a lot of questions uh, people are wondering where you're from did we oh maybe we should cover that for the the folks who just yeah, joined of us course. yeah so i'm based in berlin and frankfurt in germany but actually i'm half greek so wow yeah 50 50 mix yeah. That's a nice range. That's mm -hmm. super cool. Yeah. So what does that? So what does your residency mean for your community? Um, you mean in Germany? Yeah. Yeah. So I think most people didn't know about it, mm -hmm. and they were really interested in what is the framework and also how does it um, combine with the U.S. parts because mm -hmm. it's an American company, right, right? right? But we're like a European department, which is of course smaller, but still you're tied in. Like we're in New York now, and I can present my work, mm -hmm. which is really great because the community in Europe is a bit smaller than in the US. Mm -hmm. So I think for a German perspective, it's really great to be able to tie in this bigger network and this community. So you guys, for example, didn't see my promo because it's very European only, like mm -hmm. exclusive in a way. But now we can share it here. And this is like um, a moment where the residency is also building bridges between the different departments yeah. and nations. So Absolutely. Yeah, I think this could be the biggest um, win, how do you say? Not win, yeah. take away um, from the community there. Mm -hmm. It seems like the residency is just expanding and they're trying to get mm -hmm. to all the creatives and all of the different parts of the world. And mm -hmm. I mean, it's only the beginning. We just expanded again this year. We have nine now and it's just... It's Japan. Japan. It's some, like my favorite countries. I'm like, oh yes. <laughs> yes, so the yeah. new residents are coming and mm -hmm. of course we're sad to see you go. But do you have yeah. any final thoughts? Like mm -hmm. any other things you want to say? We have a couple more minutes. Yeah, of Anybody course. in the chat have a question for Nadine? Okay, yeah. No, I think my last words or like a giveaway I want to do is like to be um, not scared to be scared because the moments when I was like, nervous or I saw like I can't do it um, and when I still conquered that project this was the moment of the most growth so in general I was like oh should I apply at the residency maybe I'm too much of a non-professional software user or you have this kind of the insecurities right stuff. right yep. and if you just get yourself out there um, don't be scared to be scared because it's such a win in the end to challenge yourself and bring yourself in situations where you really have the potential to grow and conquer some fears and insecurities. So this was what I was learning the most and also to reach out to people and work with people. Absolutely. Yeah, so we have this idea of an artist in his studio or her or their, their studio crafting and that's kind of like a solitude moment mm -hmm. where you're not really engaging but um, I think here, especially in the residency, you've been part of like a community and a group and there is so much potential in collaborating with people and just yes. reaching out to them to give them props, to not be like, um, how do you say, on the envious 
path. Yeah. Yeah. Like not to see it as like a. You work together and right. you're, you're all in each other's cheerleaders. Yeah, you, you can like um, grow yeah. with each other or even mm -hmm. like if you feel like someone is close to your style, you can reach out to them and be like, hey, let's collaborate or let's maybe find our differences. So to be open with that and really um, welcome uh, collaborations, I think this is like the most important thing because there's like so much value in the humans around you. So don't lose track of that if you're too focused on your own career, for example. Yeah. yeah. Last question, guys. Yeah. Um, Questions. <laughs> keep the music. I think a lot of people oh, are just Aaron. inspired by what you said. Hi, <laughs> Thanks, Aaron. What do you think is the most valuable thing you learn from just the other residents? Um, yeah, actually to um, feel a community sense because mm -hmm. we have very different projects and also some residents have been having more exposure mm -hmm. or the most interesting opportunity so it's always a bit different mm -hmm. but there was never a moment where people were like oh this is not okay and yeah. I'm angry that I didn't get the opportunity I was a bit worried for Max in particular um, I can quickly show it because I had like a big um, exposure for Max because I was doing the boost design and yeah. I was a bit worried if my residency colleagues would be I don't know maybe struggle with that which would be understandable but right. they've been so like Great. They even were like, thank you for creating that boost. Um, we all have benefit from that. And I was like so positively surprised. That. Yeah. That's good. If, you know that saying, or have you heard that saying, um, it takes a village. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. like it takes a village to like build up like not only like one person, but the mm -hmm. community. So yeah. that's kind of like what the residency totally. is. Like it takes all of you guys collectively yeah. to really elevate each other. Mm -hmm. And like you guys do that really well. And you guys yeah. are also different and, and focus on different things. I think it's it's really awesome to see where you guys start and end and like yeah. how that friendship fosters. So. Also collaboration happens. Mm -hmm. Like um, Aaron and I Isabel, they've been doing a really good um, collaboration, mm -hmm. which is kind of like intercontinental because it was about language and identity and mm -hmm. they combined that in a super nice way. And I was mm -hmm. collaborating with Laura at one moment very spontaneously, but That's awesome. it was nice. So it's also you can make, yeah, be open to also share your projects and um, yeah. yeah, to yeah. combine forces. I think this was really good well okay guys it's the end yeah well it's time not is the up. end it's not the end for her obviously guys Ooh. so make sure you follow thanks for all tuning in yeah. and thanks for tuning in yeah. adobe live out see ya, see ya. <laughs>